<laughs> All I'm saying is if it were me, he lost an arm. Well, maybe, but a cannon? Well, that's too much gun for any man. I caught your whiskey holes. You didn't know him before like I did. Only a cannon could replace that man's arm. How'd he lose his arm? We ain't telling you nothing, stranger. Near as I can tell, we ain't even talking to you. <laughs> Take a walk. Answer my question, and I'll be on my way. Well, shut up. Don't tell the stinking prairie dog nothing. <laughs> ain't that right, Sam? I reckon so. Say goodbye, mister.
pretty good in a fight, stranger. The only problem is you lost your guns and all the ruckus. Here you go. Looks like you still got some business with them brothers. They ain't what you call kindly fellas. Open the damn door, woman. Well, good luck to you. But I gotta look out for myself, so this door is getting locked behind you. <laughs> well, looky what we got here. If there's anything I can't stand, it's a varmint what don't know its own business. Nothing personal. <laughs>
Bounty hunter. That's enough disturbing the peace for one day. Hand over the weapon. I said hand it over. <laughs> Fella such as yourself should know better than to stick his nose where it don't belong. Tell me about the one-armed man. <laughs> What's it to you? He killed my folks. Well, I'll be darned. I'd heard rumors you were alive, but never believed it. You're Nate Harlow's son, Ray. Tell me what you know about the death of my family. You see, it all happened about 12 years ago when the U.S. Cavalry made a little incursion south of the border. 